This review was originally intended to be released last year. <clears throat> However, due to the acquisition of the PlayStation 4's Nitro-injected successor, the PlayStation 5, this reviewer decided to replay the PS5 version in its entirety for this review. Released on the 4th of December 2020, Immortals Phoenix Rising is one of the most beautiful, entertaining and fun gaming experiences this player has had in a very long time. With its vibrant, colourful, cartoon-style graphical identity, the game draws on the experience provided by Assassin's Creed Odyssey, tweaks and refines it, and successfully converts it into something completely different. During the development of Assassin's Creed Odyssey's Fate of Atlantis expansion, reviewed on this channel, there were numerous rumours that Ubisoft were working on an Assassin's Creed Odyssey spin-off. This apparently was initiated after a bug within Assassin's Creed Odyssey changed all of the NPCs on the Adrestia, the player's ship, into Cyclopses, or Cyclopsy. Originally named Gods and Monsters, Immortals would be delayed by Ubisoft's reorganisation after the terrible launch of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Immortals Phoenix Rising has been compared to Legend of Zelda's Breath of the Wild, and although both games share a similar artistic direction, this artistic style is certainly not unique to either of them, and for this reviewer the experience of Immortals Phoenix Rising, with its emphasis on comedy, is actually more reminiscent of IO Interactive's 2009 Mini Ninjas. Immortals Phoenix Rising features an extensive, fantastical open world named the Golden Isle, saturated in Greek mythology and divided into six unique and contrasting zones. The good news for PlayStation 4 owners is that the game doesn't graphically change very much running on the PlayStation 5, the most discernible difference being those super-fast loading times. The game looks gorgeous, that artistic style draws you in and immediately transports you to an alternative universe that is relaxing, entertaining and full of wonder. For there are huge amounts of things to discover. As with both Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Valhalla, exploration rewards the curious. In terms of gameplay, movement and traversal is very similar to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, with one significant change. Both sprinting and climbing require stamina. In the Assassin's Creed Valhalla review on this channel, this reviewer made it clear how he felt that the use of stamina in combat was so detrimental to the overall experience of the game. Here though, it is a different situation. As you progress in the game, you will acquire more and more stamina until you reach a point where it really is never an issue. This actually serves as an effective level restriction method. Given that you are able to go anywhere from the very beginning of the game, stamina prevents you from going to places beyond your prowess in combat, and also in completing things way beyond the pacing of the story. One of the driving incentives to carry on is very much the acquisition of more stamina, which are mainly earned from completing vaults. Vaults are something unique to Immortals Phoenix Rising, Perhaps a way of describing them would be puzzle dungeons. There are numerous vaults to be discovered, providing a dizzying array of different ideas and concepts that will make any fan of in-game puzzles brim over with satisfaction. Many of them require some solid lateral thinking. Combat is an absolute blast. Most of the time it feels sharp and responsive. There are a multitude of skill unlocks, as well as the acquisition of godly powers, super abilities that not only serve you on the battlefield, but also in solving the numerous puzzles sprinkled liberally within the world of the Golden Isle. Another aspect that is delightful about the game is the way in which it incorporates its role-playing mechanic layer. The traditional elements of upgrading things like health, armour, weapons, etc. is presented in adorable ways, complete with little amusing cutscenes. Ah! 
There are a huge number of collectibles within the game, including new weapons and armour, new weapon and armour skins, mounts and other cool things. This further incentivizes the player to explore. Of course, no game is perfect and there are very infrequent moments where user inputs don't seem to register quickly enough or times when using certain abilities the character doesn't face in quite the right direction. However, this reviewer never experienced any glitches, collision problems or crashes. The game runs extremely well on both the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. Writer Jeffrey Yohalem delivers a startling brilliant script that is saturated in both comedy, puns and innuendo. However, a lot of the comedy plays of actual Greek mythology and some of it will be lost in translation if you are not versed in actual ancient Greek mythology. This reviewer has long forgotten any actual Greek mythology such as the Iliad that they may have studied. There are moments where it feels like you are the child left out because you didn't do your homework. Gareth Coker, who scored Halo Infinite, has produced an absolutely sublime, magnificent, effervescent tapestry of wondrous, mystical themes, a masterful combination of synthesization, orchestration, choir and original Greek instruments. It elevates the experience of Immortals Phoenix rising even higher. Game director Scott Phillips has successfully led the extremely talented team at Ubisoft's Quebec studio into forging an exquisite masterpiece of open world entertainment, an experience fit for the gods of Olympus themselves.